With the possible exception of astronomy, mathematics is the oldest and most continuously pursued of the exact sciences. Mathematics arose from practical needs. The Egyptians required ordinary arithmetic in the daily transactions of commerce and state government to fix taxes, to compute wages, and to construct a workable calendar. Most of our knowledge of early mathematics in Egypt comes from the Rhin Papyrus. The Rhin Papyrus was papyrus in Luxor, Egypt in 1858 by a Scotsman, A. Henry Wren. The Wren Papyrus starts with a bold premise. The Egyptian arithmetic reduces multiplication and division to repeated addition. The origin of geometry is that it came into being in ancient Egypt where the yearly inundation of the Nile demanded that the size of land property be resurveyed for tax purposes. The Greek historian Herodotus, who visited the Nile about 460 to 455 BC, made an observation. King Sesostris divided the land among all Egyptians so as to give each one a quadrangle of equal size and to draw from each his revenues by imposing a tax to be levied yearly. Although Pythagoras is often credited with the formulation of the Pythagorean theorem, evidence suggests that the theorem was developed by the Hindu mathematician Vajrayana around 800 BC. Around 650 AD, the use of the number zero was common in India mathematics, and a stone tablet was found in Gwalior, south of Delhi, with the number 270 and 50. The Bakshali manuscript may be the first documented evidence of zero used for mathematical purposes. During Europe's dark ages, mathematicians in the Indian and Arab worlds began to cultivate their own knowledge, setting up the basis of the mathematical practices still in use today. The numbers used today may have originated in this re as well as the concepts of zero and infinity. So that the concepts of the decimal system, place value notation, and zero originated in India. <laughs> Mathematical perspective, the most significant contribution of the Harappan culture was the development of a uniform system of weights and measures. These graduated cubical weights, each ten times heavier than the one to its right, represent early evidence of a decimal system of numeration. This system would provide the template for the positional place value system that would form on the same soil many years later. al Khwarizmi was a Persian mathematician who spent most of his life in Baghdad. His book on algebra was the first book on the synthetic solution of linear and quadratic equations. The progress that Brahma Gupta made in understanding place value, negative numbers, and the importance of zero would ultimately make its way to the Arab world between the 8th and 9th centuries. During this time, Islamic mathematicians translated many of the works of Indian scholars. The Arabs learned the decimal place value system, refined it, and ultimately transmitted it to Europe. Their interest in large numbers developed from their philosophical consideration of time and space. For example, they contemplated a measure of time known as a Shersha Prahilika, which amounted to 756 times 10 to the 11th power times 8,400,000 to the 28th power years. The giant fascination with large numbers led them to classify numbers into three groups, innumerable, an integer that can be defined or calculated, innumerable, an integer that is known to exist but difficult to count or calculate, and infinite, a quantity that is immeasurable or boundless. The Jains also created sequences and progressions of numbers, and evidence suggests that they understood the laws of indices and square roots.